Anyway, um, all right, so I'm going to quickly show you guys how to um, uh, do all your editing and recording in iMovie, and Miss Stevens is going to be my lovely assistant in the background, but she'll ignore me, so nothing new there. Um, so you'll all start filming on Monday, so I'm going to show you all the basics in this video, so that way you can kind of jump right into it. Um, I'll also chuck it on the server too, so that way you can download it and have it in your iPad, so you, if you get stuck and you're trying to remember something, it's, it's always going to... Always going to be there. Um, okay, cool. So first things first is for those that were using your iPads, which were most of you, uh, bring in the USB uh, connector cord thing. Um, this thing. Bring that in uh, so you can get all your videos off. Uh, I'll have a few spares, but try and try and remember to bring yours. And when you plug it in, uh, it'll probably automatically open up with this window here. Okay, so I've just got my phone plugged in, so these are just from random videos on my phone. Um, and it'll bring up this window and it'll show you all the videos that are on your iPad, so you'll get a lot of junk in there as well. Um, what we're going to do is switch it from auto to manual, because uh, auto will just bring everything in. So switch it to manual and you'll get these little check boxes under here, and they're the ones that you've got to import. So I'm just going to uncheck all and I will check uh, Winston, um, wall painting, more wall painting. Uh, what else have I got in here? Oh, I'll do that one, and that one, and that one. Um, and then you just do import checked, and it'll import them. You'll get this window here, uh, and it says basically if you want to optimize it, uh, make sure you have it on large, not full size, because what it'll do is it'll optimize the video, so it'll bring the size down a lot, um, but it'll still look pretty much exactly the same, so that's cool. And then click OK. Um, in here, it brings up an event, so if you haven't done anything yet, you might want to create a new event. Um, I've just got my hard drive selected here where it's going to save to it. Uh, what you'll need to do is make sure you click the that drop box. It'll say student drive and that's where you want to save yours. Um, and I'm just going to call this iMovie, but you might call it whatever you want. Don't do the stabilization thing because it takes ages um, and it won't really do much. And just make sure optimize is checked and then I'll click import. Um, and it'll start to import them. You'll see a little task, kind of little slider bar down there. Um, and once they're all imported, you can start working. So this will take a little bit longer for me because these are quite high res videos. So I will come back in five minutes and 54 seconds. I'll annoy Miss Stevens now for five minutes. <laughs> So that's, that's all imported and done. And so you click OK, and then you can click Done there. All right, cool. Uh, what you'll find now is you'll have all your movies sitting here in this library. OK, so you can scroll through. Um, you can play on any of those. They're organized by date, too. So that the newest will be, uh, sorry, oldest will be at the bottom. So there's Winston. Awesome. Um, so yeah, you can scroll through all of these and see. Um, what you've got and, and play through them all. Alright, so now the next step is actually starting to put these in order. So you're going to try and get your movie into some kind of order. Um, we're not going to worry about transitions or anything like that yet. We just want to get it in order. So what you need to do is then kind of go through all your footage down here and select exactly what you want and where it's going to go. So you don't need to select the whole clip either. So let's just say the very first part, I want to have this Winston video, but I don't want the whole lot. If you just click on it, you'll see this little yellow uh, bounding box. And if you move that in and out, it'll show you how much time you're selecting and what section. So I just want say that first little bit there. So I can grab that and bring it across oops, and, and bring it up into there and it'll start to work. But you can see here, nothing is happening. All right, because what you need to do is you actually need to start a project first. So I haven't got a project here. So that's what that plus button is for. Click that. Um, you'll get all these kind of uh, themes. We're not using any themes, um, so do no theme. Widescreen, and again, call it um, whatever you want. So I'll call it iMovie and create. Okay, and now you'll see you've got your project up here, which I've called iMovie, and you've got these little blank empty boxes. So select the video bit that you want, grab it, drop it in. Okay, um, let's just change that. And there we go. So now I've only got that first four seconds of footage there. Then I might want, you know, just this little bit here so I can select that little bit 
and then plonk that in there as well. So now I've only got that bit and then that bit. And you'll see on your footage, this little orange bar indicates which bit you've taken. Um, and yeah, and now you just gotta start selecting all the bits of footage that you want and putting them in the right order. Yeah? We've got this little bit here, plonk that in. Then I want a little bit of this. Grab that, drop it in. And that's all you're doing, just kind of grabbing all the footage that you need and putting it into some kind of order up here. If you change your mind, you can move this around, like uh, you might actually go, I want that over there, or I want that over there. Or if you want to trim this, you can do that too. Um, matter of just taking that out and then selecting the right part and putting it back in again. So we'll put that there. Uh, and that's the main part. Um, this little blue bit here is where you can start changing stuff in terms of uh, adjustments. So if I do clip adjustments, all right, this will bring up a few options. So here's the duration of the clip and that's the duration of the source. So that's how, what I've selected, that's the total there. Um, you can speed it up or slow it down, okay? Uh, it's up to you, you can reverse it as well so the footage goes backwards. If it's really jittery, like you moved around a lot, you can try stabilization, but it's probably really not worth the time it takes to do it. Um, and that's your clip changes. Video here allows you to play with color levels. You know, if you want it to be brighter, okay, remember we said some clips are quite dark. You can change the brightness there. All right, sometimes it'll work, sometimes it'll look a bit weird. You can change the exposure. All right, so again, that's really gonna brighten the scene up really gonna darken it. Uh, the contrast, whoops, I just broke it, let's put it back. Uh, the contrast as well, really kind of plays with the color there. And finally the saturation, that's how much color's in there. So you can really bring that up. Uh, so depending on what you're doing, you know, you might have a, uh, a dream sequence, you might have a bit more color in there. You know, they do it in like, you know, Wizard of Oz, they really pump that color up. Um, and that's your video. And your audio here allows you to change um, the actual audio. So you can fade in the audio and out. You can increase the volume, which you might have to do on a few things if it was a bit soft. Um, and you can reduce background noise as well. So this will try to get rid of the humming and uh, the wind and stuff like that. So you can give that a go. Um, and then you're done there. The other options you can do, if we go in here and we go into video, oops, sorry, we'll get out of that. Um, we go into here and we go into clip adjustments again. You'll see you've got a video effect and an audio effect. So this is where we flip that around you can add these effects to your video, okay? That's none, that's flipped it, so that's kind of flipped the video across. Raster gives you those old TV lines, cartoon, you know, you can make it look like aged film, film grain, hard light, so again, that's a good one if you did some shots that you wanna look at into nighttime, day into night works well. Uh, glowing, dream sequence, you know, romantic, you've got that fudge there, hopefully you don't use too many of those. Uh, vignette gives you, a, again, a black border, but again, you can play with these, and kind of add these effects to your video really, really easily, okay? Um, and that's that's kind of it. That's the real basic stuff of what you're gonna be doing. It's just putting it in the right order. From there, you'll do some transitions, okay? So your transitions um, are just here, all right? So what this does, again, it'll, you see the example if you roll over it. This is how one scene will change to the next scene. And, and in most cases, you probably won't do any of these silly kind of QB spin around things. You don't really see those in movies um, unless it's Star Wars. Uh, but this cross dissolve and fade to black is probably um, a cool one. So if I put that in between there, it'll automatically do that. So if I play that, it'll automatically then fade to black into the next scene. <clears throat> Or you can do something like a cross blur, which I'll do here, where if I play that, it blurs into the next scene. And you just play with these and to get them how you like them, okay? Um, and that is that. You've also got here, this is your titles. So you might want to do uh, an intro where you have the title of your movie, okay? You've got all these titles here, which you can just drag and drop in, uh, and then your credits as well. So if I do a simple centered tile, I'll plonk it at the front there. Um, so you can do like, let's just do a black. Okay, and then I can call this whatever I want. Um, and now when you play that, you'll have your title of your movie, and then it'll start, you know, your movie. Uh, and then you can have the credits as well. These are probably the only two that you're gonna use, you know, chucking in credits too. Um, we'll put credits against black, and then if you play that, you know, there's our credits and you can you can change all of those too by going in there and changing the text okay so that's pretty easy um, 
So that's it. So it's a, it's a lot probably easier than you thought. Um, we can start to do some other stuff as well. So you can see here I've got music. So this is the music that you can kind of plonk in there. Um, this is just accessing my iTunes library. So uh, if you obviously these computers will be hooked up to iTunes. So you can drag and drop audio in, which I'll show you in a second. And this is doing your photo library again you can drag and drop photos in there as well. So you can drag and drop photos. So it doesn't necessarily have to be filmed all the time. You can put photos in there too, um, really, really easily. And the last one that we'll probably be using is this little microphone here, which is a voiceover, because a lot of your recording you may have done, um, the audio might not have been that great because you know the iPad can't really zoom audio. So you can record over what you've got. So it's really easy. So let's just say we've got this section here. If I play that, we've got Winston, but if I go there and if I actually, oops, sorry. If I select that and then go to my voiceover, okay, now it's ready. So you can see it's, it's working here and it's ready to record. So uh, to record, click a click where you want the voiceover to begin. So if I, you can see a little mic there now, I want it to start here. It's giving me a countdown. Now I can record. So woof, 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 woof. And then it's done. So it's recorded over that clip. So that's done. So then if I play that back, you can see it's got a voiceover. And I'll play that back. Now I can record, so woof, 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 and then we're back. And so that's your voiceover. So, hey, check out this one. Oh, Steven, did you see before I had like five on? Oh, that's really good. You know, because you do with this one, you can put it in your ears like that, and then you can't hear me. Oh, woof. Yeah. Um, there we go. So that was Miss Stevens. Oh, that might be the last time you ever see Miss Stevens because she's going to Nepal, um, and she, she may never return. So this could be the last known footage of N. Stevens. So that's, that's exciting for you. Anyway, um, yeah, so microphone. Uh, and the last one we can probably look at is crop. So this one allows you to crop your footage. So hopefully you all filmed in landscape mode. But if you want to get rid of a certain bit of footage, you can kind of crop it out. So fit will just fit it in. Okay. Um, so if I hit fit, it just fits it in the square. Crop will bring up this kind of this little green um, box here. Okay, and I can actually crop it in and it will constrain the right dimensions of your footage. So I might crop it to there and move it and click done. And now it's kind of cropped that out. Or you can do some other things called, uh, if I go to crop again, uh, this one, Ken Burns, um, which allows you to kind of, it zooms in and zooms out. So where I've got start and end, it means, all right, it'll start there and it'll end there. So that's kind of cool too. So if I play that back, so I'll hit done. If I go back to my footage and play that, it's starting and now it's going to slowly kind of pull out. So that's how you can do zooming because you couldn't zoom on your iPad. Um, that's how you can kind of give yourself a fake kind of zoom effect. So I'll, I'll show you again. So we'll go in here, we'll go into Ken Burns and we'll just zoom that down. So actually, and get to the end. So in the end, I'm going to have it, you know, right there. And in the start, I'm going to have it here. So what's going to happen is over the course of that video, it's going to zoom in. There you go. Uh, and that is it. That's all the effects. Um, that's all the editing. And that's what we'll be doing with ours. Uh, I'll come around individually and help you out with any other kind of cool effects that you want to do because you can do little bits and pieces here and there. But that's it. Uh, iMovie saves automatically. So when you shut this down, it'll be saved, but it'll only be on this computer, like the computer that you're you're on, essentially. Um, actually, one final thing too, because I know you were sharing footage around. Um, if you've imported it and you've got some footage for somebody else that you want to give them, what you need to do is select that footage, okay? And if you right click, you'll get this thing that says reveal in Finder. And if you click that, it'll go to that clip, okay? And then you can get that clip and drop, drop it on your um, Dropbox on the server and then your other your other mate can grab it and put it into there maybe so that's it see you later